Okay, in this video, we're going to find coordinates that don't correspond to the special triangles on the unit circle. Now remember, when they do correspond to special triangles, with a for, if they form a 30, 60, 90 triangle, like here, for example, or here, right? Or if they form a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which would be like here, pi over 4, over here. They form these coordinates, right? And I showed you in a previous video how we found those coordinates. But what about for coordinates, for example, like pi over 8, that don't form a 30, 60, or a 45, 45, 90, or 340 degrees, which again, don't form either one of these two. How do we find the coordinates for that? Okay, so that's what this particular um, video is going to be about. Now, let's start with pi over 8, all right? <clears throat> now, the first thing that we're going to have to do is actually create the triangle that is formed there. So let's go to pi over 8. Let's do this. Let's bring the... Um, Let's bring the leg down here. Now again, we have a right triangle, right? But we don't know how many degrees there are in this triangle. It's not a 30, 60, 90, or a 45, 45, 90. So how do we do that? So our first step here is to convert pi over 8, or whatever the individual radian might be, to degrees. Okay, so let's do that first. So let's convert. Remember the formula for that is the number of radians divided by pi times 180 degrees will give you your number of degrees. All right, so there's our first step. So let's go ahead and solve this. Our second step will be pi over 8, multiply by the reciprocal, and remember that's just pi over 1, the reciprocal would be 1 over pi, times 180, again that will equal degrees, pi's cancel, you'll end up with 1 times 180 divided by 8, and that will end up being our third step, 22.5 degrees will equal the number of degrees. Okay, so in this triangle, we don't have a 30, 60, 90, like I said. What we've got is a 22.5 degrees. This one's 90, and again, you can just go ahead and uh, add up to 180 degrees and get this angle here, but we don't need this angle. All we really need is this angle here. So our second step is again to ask uh, is to observe that the radius or the side of this triangle is one. We are looking for this length here, the long leg, and we're looking for the short leg. Now why is that important? Because the long leg here will just be our x value. Just like when it goes all the way out to here, it's 1, 0, 1 along the x, 0 along the y. Over here, this leg will be the x value for this, and the short leg will be the y value. Now, how do we find the sides of a triangle, that's a right triangle, if we know the degrees in the triangle? And this is where we're going to have to use trig, okay? Use trig functions to find the legs or the x and the y sides. Let's call this side the x. Let's call this side the y. Okay, so I'm going to bring it down here, and let me just do this. 
I'm going to basically draw that triangle here. And we're going to call again this side the y, because that would be our y value, and this side our x, and our hypotenuse was 1. So, using SOHCAHTOA, and we want to find the x, which one of these three, sine, cosine, or tangent, will help us find the x? Well, we know that um, cosine, right, uh, which is the uh, adjacent over the hypotenuse, adjacent side over the hypotenuse, we'll find our x value. So we're going to say, and here's our first step, the cosine of 22.5 degrees will be equal to the adjacent, in this case that's going to be our x, over the hypotenuse, which is 1. Now let's go ahead and look up the cosine of 22.5, okay? And just go to your calculator, and you're going to get 0.924. Let's just go to three places. And that actually makes some sense, right? 0.924 is almost 1, right? That's going to be equal to our adjacent side, because just divided by 1, or our x. Now we have found that value. Now let's go ahead and find our y value. Which of these three are we going to use? We could find the opposite over the hypotenuse, which would be the sine. All right, so let's do that. We're going to say the sine of 22.5 is going to be equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Remember, hypotenuse is 1. So the sine of 22.5 is going to be equal to 0.383. Again, to three values. And that will be equal to our y value. All right. There we go. We now have our x and our y. And since we're in the first quadrant, both the x and the y are positive. So we will go up here, and we will say that at pi over 8, the coordinates will be 0.924, and the y value is 0.383. And that's how you find the coordinates that correspond to a radian value that's not one of the special triangles. Now, I'll let you try it for 340 degrees, and we'll see what you come up with, okay? Okay, I hope this video was helpful to you.